Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Chris and this is Skylanders Ring of Heroes. So in this video we're going to do kind of like a, a little summoning guide, give you a bit of idea of the best places to spend your resources in summons and just go over the summons so you've kind of got an idea of what you can get from them as well. Hopefully this, uh, this video will help you out. So let's go uh, to the summon page. In the summon shop you can see there's a, a few tiles here at the bottom. Currently we've got two events going on. The one for the new summon, the new Skylander which is the uh, Flame Elf Archery for the Flame Singer, Flame Slinger, and the next one we've got the uh, the event for Bookshot. Um, we've got Premium Summons, Mystic Magic Summons, and this one behind my head here is the uh, the Wishstone Summons. Uh, so for all of these events, it's going to take different resources to summon as well. We're going to go through those as we go through the tiles. Uh, let's start with the Wishstone Summons. So. With wish stone summon it takes wish stones to summon uh, we've got these uh two little boxes here one time summon and five times summon uh with a value above those um uh, so how do we get wish stones so wish stones are generated through friends friends are easy to accumulate in this game let's head over to the friend page uh so my list is full at the minute i'm on 50 out of 50 but if you haven't got any and you're just starting out you can add some people that you've uh I get randomly generated on here just add a load of these fill up your friends list as soon as possible and start sending out your wish stones and then you'll get a load back as well and this is a daily thing so come in here every day send and receive wish stones and that's going to accumulate your currency uh, for the wish stone summon now you cannot get legendaries from this but you can get other things from this that are going to be beneficial in your game especially if you're starting out or um you know if you're kind of like mid game and you need a bit of extra cash or if you're trying to push a late game to get some final uh, transcendence levels on your Skylanders. Um, <laughs> so what you can get from this is it does have a very small percentage to drop uh, heroic Skylanders. Um, the drop rate for heroics is 0.4%. It's going to give you a 20% drop rate for rare and a 79.6% chance to get to drop a premium Skylander in this. Um, so this is where early game comes into it. If you if you manage to build up a few wish stones early game, if you pop a load of these summons, you might be able to get some super boosts on some of the Skylanders that you want to build up. Um, and then after a while, those are going to be super boosted. So you're just going to get a load of Imaginite from those. I'll leave that for another video, but Imaginite can be a very useful resource. It can kind of go two ways with this as well. If you're kind of building up Imaginite through using these wish stone summons, uh, you can either save them up and kind of upgrade them into the next level up for transcendence into your Skylanders. But that's going to cost a lot of money to do all that stuff. Uh, but on the flip side, um, you can now buy um, Imaginite chests from the from the light shop. Um, so if you're struggling with some gold, you can get a quick boost by, uh, by just buying some chests with uh, a Raven Premium Imaginite. So that's always a nice uh, extra resource you can use there. Um, so next we're going to move on to Mystic Magic Summons. Now these ones, these are the, the Black Scrolls. You get the Black Scrolls from Eon's shop. These are going to cost about 400 dust. Let's go check his shop. Uh, so yeah, Eon's Mystic Scrolls. These are going to cost about 400 dust. So yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend spending dust on getting Eon's Mystic Scrolls. I would highly recommend getting Mid-Evolution Splendors or pre Precise Extraction Tools instead. Uh, but here's what you can get if you do feel like getting Eon's Mystic Scrolls. Um, so the Mystic Scrolls again, one time summon or five time summons. And um, you can actually, you can roll legendary Skylanders from these scrolls. However, the drop chance is extremely low again. So with the legendary Skylanders, it's a 0.4% chance for them to drop. So they do drop, but very rarely. Um, but onto the heroics. Uh, the heroics um, give you a 2% chance to drop. So it's slightly more favorable for the heroics. And then I think the uh, rares are 50% chance and the premiums are 48.6% chance or something like that. So I don't know if I mentioned this on the wish stones. Uh, if you click the one time summon, it just pulls a random selection summon the five times summon it's just five random summons um on the mystic magic summon scrolls if you just summon times five it's going to be five 
uh, random five random elements if you click on the individual one let's have a look see what happens on this one let's get that we're gonna get five gates appear all with uh, randomly rolled elements on them um so this can be a good way if you wanted to invest in the uh, black scrolls summon scrolls you can kind of uh, focus down and try and get some super boost for the skylanders that you are using by uh, doing them individually and kind of selecting the uh, elements that you want to get a super boost in uh, for instance if you were trying to build up your uh, igniter your rare fire skylander click on this fire fire gate it's going to give you a good chance of pulling uh, a super boost for uh, igniter is that his name? Eruptor? Oh, we got Eruptor from it anyway. That's not the one I was thinking of, but yeah. Uh, but you get the whole idea. You can kind of focus on and get some super boost for your rares. I wouldn't try this for heroics because it'll take you a lot, uh, but definitely for premiums and uh, rares if you wanted to do that and try and get those super boosts just to max them out a bit quicker. Uh, you could definitely do that. Um, next we have premium summons. I'm going to get to this one last because this is the most important one. This is the one you are going, going to want to be spending your resources on. So we'll come back to that one in a little bit. Um, so let's go over to the event ones. Okay, so event summons. So with these summons, we've currently got two running at the same time. And it's been the theme since the revamp has occurred. They've always had these event summons, these super pickup summons, which give you an increased drop chance of getting these summons. Um, and they come with their own resources as well. These are the, the uh, pickup tickets. These are rainbow colored summon tickets. Um, I haven't had too many of these. We recently got a load with the um, with the uh, Sky Pass update. Uh, due to the maintenance, we got like a whole stack of them, which is kind of nice. Uh, but we've got a few left up there. Um, okay, so what this is going to do for us is increase our chance. It's not going to increase our chance of getting legendaries, but it's, it's going to increase our chances of pulling that specific legendary from a legendary drop. So same again, we've got the one time summon, we've got the five time summon, and we've also got a countdown timer. That one's on 83 at the minute. We go to this one, it's on 115. I have been using a few summons in these. Uh, but it starts off at 120. If you summon 120 times and you don't get the specific Skylander, then it will give you a free one at the end of those 120 summons. I would kind of suggest if you were a free to play player, you won't put in any money into this at all. Um, I wouldn't recommend using gems for this uh, because once you get rid of your your pickup tickets, then it moves on to gems and you can start carrying on summoning with gems. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend using it if you were a free-to-play player. Just because it's not really... Just because you'll get more, much more benefit in going to the premium summons than you will be for these special event pickups. Unless it was a Skylander that you really wanted. And you want to just put as many uh, gems down until you got that Skylander. Then, yeah, fair enough. <clears throat> but I wouldn't recommend it. I do it on this account because this is my uh, paid account. On my free-to-play account, I don't even touch these. Mine are all on premium summons. Okay, so let's do a bit of a breakdown for this. So it's there's a 1% chance of pulling the specific legendary. There's another 1% chance of pulling a random legendary. 10% chance to pull a heroic Skylander. 44% chance to pull a rare Skylander. And a 44% chance to pull a premium Skylander. Uh, so this means you have a 2% chance to pull a legendary. Um, and once you pull that legendary, you have a 50% chance from then to pull the specific uh, legendary Skylander, that's the event is for. In this instance, he'll be Flameslinger. Um, and same again with this, it's going to be, uh, so we've got the five times and the one times. Uh, if we click five times summon, it's just going to give us five random portals. If we click the one time summon, because it's specific legendary, I don't think it's going to give the, us the chance to choose the element because that'll be kind of, you know, you're going to want to go for the fire, right? Let's have a look and see. Um, okay, so we got a flame slinger anyway. <laughs> okay, nice. So yeah, it's just going to give you a random portal. You're not going to be able to choose what it is. Um, that was kind of lucky. So I got a flame slinger from that portal. Um, yeah, so same with this one. So the one times summon is just going to be a random 
uh, portal <coughs> and the five times is going to be five random portals so you can't choose the elements for these so like I said that will be a bit cheating and then everyone will just do the single uh, summon so it doesn't matter which one you pick for these either a one time or five time it's still the same same result um, unless you get super lucky like I just did there um, okay so that's the event ones which uh, I'm going to say this again if you're a free to play player I wouldn't recommend going for them unless it was a Skylander that you really wanted to get then you know the choice is yours uh, however if you do go for these specific events these are going to lock you out of having the chance to get light and dark legendary Skylanders or light and dark Skylanders in general there is only one place you can summon light and dark Skylanders on this page and that is through premium summons so premium summons um, is probably the place where everyone should be spending their summons regardless of the events um, because just out of probability I mean the specific Skylander summons they have a 1% chance to drop for those specific Skylanders fair enough but if you're summoning on premium summons you got a chance for them to drop anyway so eventually you will come around on some of those Skylanders uh, but with the premium summons you got the added benefit of being able to summon light and dark Skylanders as well uh, again for this we've got the one times and the five times this is a different ticket this is the the, the gold the golden tickets the premium summon tickets um <clears throat> now this is where it really does matter as well this one times and these five times summons uh one time summon let's go and have a look so this should let me be able to pick the element of the portal now <clears throat> it's only showing four poles here and then like the uh, the outline of the fifth portal so it pulls the four portals we get to choose which element we want and now this is going to be the same percentage for the for the drop chances so whichever ones we pull on these these have already rolled their elements which for these four on the outside is a 12.5 percent chance to pull these random elements out um so when we select on one of these we're going to do another roll to see what kind of rarity we get and again that's going to be two percent for legendary 10% for heroic, 44% for rare, and 44% for premium. Um, so we're gonna go for I'm gonna go for fire again, just in case we get lucky again. We didn't get it that time. Yeah. Uh now <laughs> so the the fifth gate, the fifth gate only appears when you do a five time summon. And the fifth one is special on the premium summons. For the reason that if you pull a fifth gate, which you can only do in the five time summons, um, it also drops a chance to pull a light and a dark portal. Um, so I think it drops every everyone else's chance to like eleven point something percent, and then it changes so you get a two point five percent chance to pull a dark portal, or a two point two point five percent chance to pull a, a light light portal. Oh god, I'm losing the ability to speak. Um. But yeah, like I said, that only activates when you do the five times summon. So, and that's the only way you get a chance to get the light and dark Skylanders in the game. The light and dark legendary Skylanders and the light and dark heroic Skylanders. This is the only place that you can summon them in the game. You can't get them from the events. You can't get them from Mystic Magic summons or Wish Stones. Only premium summons and only when you do the five times summon uh so for if you're a free to play player don't worry about the events spend your resources spend your tickets here i guess this is the only place you can spend your tickets but spend your tickets here in the five times summons doesn't matter if you have like one or two left over you can then go on to use gems uh depends on how far you, far you are along in the game later on you're going to be wanting to using your gems for energy refills but at the start you've got like an abundance of gems come to us and pretty much throwing gems at you um you know feel free to just go for a few summons go for a few five times summons build up a kind of uh, a pool of skylanders to kind of draw from hopefully you'll get some nice heroics and a few legendaries from there as well and uh, come to us have been really good with us they've been giving us loads of summon tickets so it's just been i've been able to do like big summons uh like twice a week <clears throat> i've got two accounts running 
Uh, one is free to play. This one is a bit more paid, I don't, although I don't spend that much more in it. Um, and this one I only go for the event summons because I put resources in there. Uh, I'm a free to play one. I literally just go for the premium summons and I've had so much luck with that in light and dark. I've already got like like three light and dark legendaries on there and some light and dark heroics as well. Uh, with some super boosts which which have been pretty nice. Um, and this one because I'm going for the events I've got less light and dark legendaries uh, less light and dark skylands on that. I don't think I have a light and dark legendary. On this one apart from a uh, blackout which you can get from the shop anyway so yeah one also like really important thing to note is your summon mileage if you're going to premium summons um you can get a uh, super boost key so every 25 summons you get a, a heroic super boost key and then 25 after that you get a gold a legendary super boost key and this resets after you hit 50 so you keep going and accumulating these keys from premium summons another uh, valuable reason why to do premium summons over the other summons uh, for the super boost keys as well. But yeah, that's it. Wish stones for Magisai resources. Miss Imagine summons, probably not going to want to do that that much. Events, event summons, pick up summons. Uh, I would only risk it if there was like multiple events going on around that summon, and even then, it might not be worth it. But definitely premium summons. If you can, stick to these. And good luck in getting your Light and Dark Skylanders. Anyway, guys, that's it from this video. Um, if any of this information helped you all, then please uh, hit a like, um, subscribe. Um, but also, if you want to read all this information yourself, there is this little dice button here, which is going to give you all the roll percentages and what is available. But anyway, that is it for me for another video. Take care, guys. I'm out. Peace.